and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i will show you a lot of beauty empties i saved up a lot of products as you can see and because the last empties video was i believe in the spring so yeah lots of products to show you and i will tell you which products i would recommend and which ones i didn't really like um so yeah if you're excited for this video don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up because you really help my channel with that and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe and now let's get started with the video okay so let's get started with a shampoo and conditioner that i absolutely love this is from l'oreal it is called the Elvive dream long and yeah what can i say i just really really like it the scent is so lovely it smells like like sweet and i'm not sure if it is called coconut so like it says it is for long hair and this makes my hair really soft and shiny my hair feels incredible after i washed it and i will say if you use the conditioner and you want to curl your hair don't use too much because it makes your hair really like silky so if you want to curl your hair don't use too much conditioner otherwise the curls will fall out very easily but yes i would definitely recommend this shampoo and conditioner and i would definitely repurchase this again i have a very dry skin so i always like to use a baby oil so i tried this dalin light oil spray and this is i believe a turkish brand so I really like this product because you just spray it on very easy. And like the name says, it is a light oil spray. So I bought now a bigger bottle and that's the regular baby oil, which is definitely more oily. And for the winter, I really like that. So this light oil spray is definitely more light. But I have to say, I really, really like it, especially in the summer, in the evening. Um, I would definitely go for the light oil spray instead of the normal one. So again, I would definitely recommend this product. So for everyday use, I really like to use a BB cream. And I finished up my Ola's uh, Total Effect 7-in-1 BB cream. I really like this because it has a moisturizer and SPF in it. And this does give you like a light coverage. It's not a full coverage. So if you're looking for that... I I will say go use a foundation instead of a BB cream but I really like to use this uh, for everyday use I already have a extra one um, but yeah I will definitely recommend this for everyday use the only thing I will say is this is in the color light I believe let me see yeah this is in the color fair but if you have a pale skin like me this is not light enough so I always need to touch up a little bit with a lighter concealer to make it work um, but for me in the spring and summertime this is like the perfect color um but yeah really really like this so the next two products are sunscreens um one is from australian gold which is my favorite i showed you it before um australian gold has just the best sunscreen i think uh, the scent is really nice and it does give you like a little bit of a bronzy look which i love and this is a spf 15 which i like to use when i'm already a little bit tense so yeah, I finished up this one. And then another sunscreen that I finished up is the Sun Care Sun Spray from Hegron, I believe. And this is from the Action in the Netherlands, a very budget um, shop. So this is definitely cheaper than the Australian Gold one. And what can I say? It's just a regular sunscreen, nothing like really special about it. Um, but it does the job. Then another shampoo that I finished up is the Gliss uh, Searing Repair from Swatchkov. And this was actually a very nice shampoo. Uh, my husband also really liked this one. It makes your hair really soft and shiny. It smells like... It has like a typical shampoo scent, I will say. Um, but I do prefer the L'Oreal one over this. But I have to say I like it. I have also the conditioner spray of this and it does the job. If there's again a sale going on, maybe I will repurchase it because it's just a nice shampoo, but not like my favorite, if that makes sense. Then I also finished up another mascara and this is the Essence I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. I always repurchase this. This is just my favorite mascara of all time. I would really recommend it because it is very, very budget friendly. Because it's just such a budget mascara and um, yeah, I just really, really like it. You hear me talk about this product all the time. 
Then I also finished up another one of my favorite lip glosses. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Eclair, uh, my all-time favorite lip gloss. And I use this all the time on top of um, another lipstick, also on itself. It has a really nice cool pink undertone. I think the NYX Butter Glosses are just the best out there. They are again very budget friendly. I love the scent of it, they smell amazing so so nice and yeah i will definitely recommend this if you are looking for a nice uh, lip gloss and again i already have another one because um, i always use this so these were all the products i used up um i really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what's your favorite product of this year and um yeah if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe and i hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos bye